know, things like that can sometimes leave people wondering, what if I get sick because of all this nastiness? Well, we have someone who can help you out when feeling a little more prepared for all that wonderful weather and what it makes you feel like afterwards. Yeah, we are joined here today with Dr. Les Moore. Les, thank you so much for coming in today. This is short notice, of course. I'm like, hey, yeah, he'll come in. You know, not like you're not busy enough with all the, the sicknesses that are going on. But you have a different approach. Uh, you're, you're, not a, you're not a pill pusher, per se, at all. Per se, yes. <laughs> so tell us a, a little bit about uh, uh, what you do, and uh, then we'll kind of move right into what we're going to be talking about. Well, I do naturopathic medicine and acupuncture and Chinese medicine. And I have a practice in Bristol's Basin. I've mm -hmm. uh, been up there about five years. Prior to that, I was at uh, Clifton Springs Hospital for 12 years as the Director of Integrative Medicine. And yeah. prior to that, I was at F.F. F. Thompson Hospital. So he's got a little bit of experience behind him. <laughs> Just a little bit. That's awesome. So uh, we, I, I was going to do this actually in a different order, but you kind of corrected me because I was going to... I was going to end with a fear factor because, you know, that's a good punch. <laughs> Just kidding. So, uh, you know, the, the whole scare about, um, you know, we're not only talking about, you know, obviously flu season, but now we're talking about the coronavirus. So uh, give us uh, some information about corona. What's going on here? Well, first, let's get rid of the fear. Yes, definitely. There was just an um, editorial published in the New England Journal of Medicine yesterday, okay. Friday, and um, it basically stated that it's no worse than severe flu coming around, a severe flu season, yeah. and the, uh, the mortality rate of it is about the same as severe flu. There's not been anybody under 15 contracted in the U.S., okay. um, so it's the elderly who already have another illness already that are being harmed by it. So like their immune system is down a little bit or they're not able to fight it like, like what you can. Okay. It's just not Ebola. And yeah, nobody yeah. <laughs> needs to worry about that. And so get rid of fear, yeah. have a little more faith in your immune system, and build that up and yeah. keep yourself healthy, and you should be uh, doing well. Okay, very cool. Now, so you're not you're not saying go out and buy, like, a mask. Go out and buy, like, a oxygen breathing system. I don't, you know, people are, are they're running out of masks here in the U.S. They're buying them from Walmart. They're, uh, I was yeah, just I was talking at to Walmart the other day, yeah. and there were people. I was just waiting for my kids' pills. The whole time I was waiting in line, they had at least seven people come up. Do you have the face mask things? And they said, I'm sorry, we sold out in a day. Well, yes. A lot of people were looking for masks. And masks are fine if you like wearing them, but. <laughs> but you can't, you want like, to decorate them. You can decorate them. It's kind of nice, kind of like a masquerade. So, yeah, so you're saying that uh, for Corona, then we really just need to do some precautionary things like you would do for the flu. Right. You want to practice good hygiene. Yeah. So you want to make sure you wash your hands. Make sure you keep yourself Why, why are you looking at me? No, no, I do you, sometimes. <laughs> every now and then. And also time. <laughs> you're going to. And it also practice good hygiene for other people. Ensure that they are washing their hands. Don't be sharing your glasses and, and drinks and forks oh, and so forth. honey. Far. That's so unromantic. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe during flu season and corona season. That sounded like I needed a line. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, you know, one thing I, I didn't know either is your cell phone is like a big transmitter of, like, nasty. Because I take it in the bathroom with me. I don't even think. Because during break, I don't want to leave it on the table because I, I don't have it locked. So I don't want people scrolling through my stuff. So I take it with me into the bathroom. And right. I, I was, and that goes up to your face. Hello. Correct. I think about that. Right. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. Well, well hygiene is the, the entire body. Hygiene, it actually means yeah. health. So you're practicing good health when you do that. Yeah. And so you want to do the same things to keep your immune system up. Make sure that you're staying hydrated. Oh, Drinking yeah. enough water, eating good food, very good. Maybe you got some vitamin C in there also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I've got some some uh, oranges kind of floating around in my water. I'm a terrible water drinker, so we actually had a um, uh, a health uh, person come into work, and she gave us some good tips on how to drink water. And she gave us like one additive that was like actually all natural, and then two. She said you could put fruit in your drink. I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. And she said even add a little honey because it helps you absorb the water a little better, so you're not making like five thousand trips to the bathroom. That's correct. Well, honey is antimicrobial. It's antiviral, antifungal. Which is a beautiful. Antibacterial. Um, that's why I drink that, too. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's really and good. it can help with the cough. So the coronavirus yeah. is an upper respiratory tract infection. Uh, some of our it's, it's more common colds are coronaviruses. Uh, so Serious? you're doing the same thing to prevent wow. that. So wow. not only just staying hydrated, you want to eat good food, good healthy food, yeah. whole grains, fresh fruits and veggies, make sure you're getting it if you're just getting in your water like this here. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want to keep your exercise program up. Yeah. Keep on doing that. Okay. And um, make sure you're getting sleep, rest, 
Not overworking. That is huge. Right? Yeah. And oh, I try not to do that. <laughs> Just ask anybody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but stress. Yes, you know, sleep is, is huge. Is that not like one of the biggest battles, I think, for us is to get enough sleep? Your body needs that sleep to repair itself, to, to keep healthy. That's like a big immune booster in and of itself, is it not, to get it enough is. sleep? It is. Uh, some people will not get enough sleep and actually feel like they're getting a cold, even yes. though they're not. They'll have symptoms of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you want, you're restoring and repairing your body during that time, building your immune function fighting off anything that may have coming into your body is focusing on that so rest is very important huge and then yeah. then there are things you can do uh, to boost your immune system other than those uh, that people will take like supplement mm -hmm. naturally yeah and, um, one you make sure you take your nutrients like you I see you have your emergency yeah uh, you take yeah, what do you think about C. that well vitamin C is good vitamin it's C is good your immune system so up. this this little thing you think this is something good to, to um, invest in the emergencies Little well, packets of well, any good vitamin C would be good, but a lot yeah. of people like this. It has a, a you know decent taste to it. It's a powder, so it's a little more bioavailable. It gets into you quicker. Yeah, and it, and it's fizzy. It's I like it. Fizzy. It's kind of like a like an orange champagne. Yes. And so it makes people <laughs> want to take it. So yeah, you want to get your vitamin C in, and um, that'll boost your immune system up. And yep. so this is uh, the two-time Nobel laureate Linus Pauling was vitamin C and lysine. Yes. You can take your lysine also. Yes, that's right. You know, that kept the dinosaurs alive on Jurassic Park. It probably did. I'm just kidding. I don't I don't know if that was real or not. But, you know, yeah, I, we run out of lysine, and it's something I forgot because that's not something you, I don't know, you hear. You hear vitamin C all the time, but I forgot about the lysine factor, so that's good, too. Well, uh, lysine is antiviral, even like herpes simplex viruses, like cold sores and so oh. forth. It'll keep those away. So okay. if the vitamin C and the lysine together, zinc, zinc will improve your immune system. I need to write this stuff down. I'm going to Walmart afterwards. I'm getting my zinc yeah. and my lysine. I definitely need to look working. into the lysine then. My husband is terrible with cold sores. Every year in early January, he ends up with one. Right. So I need to get some yeah. of that and chase him around the house with it, apparently. <laughs> now, I heard uh, echinacea. I, I, like, I get like an echinacea tea yep. that I absolutely love. And I don't know if it helps, but it just tastes really good. So I'm, I'm taking the chance that I love it. I drink it like every day. My aunt swears by it. She feels like it, it, it's really helped her. And when I got the flu, I hadn't had my tea for like um, over a week. Now I know that's probably not, that's just a whatever, like wives tale or whatever. Cause I, I was across from somebody that was sick with um, the flu for about a week working pretty close. So I'm sure that's why I got it. But um, is that like another like echinacea? Yeah, echinacea is a very good, it is antiviral. Okay. It, it boosts the immune system, white blood cell count increases significantly after taking it. So it is specifically antiviral. Okay. Um, your golden seal is um, antibacterial. So a lot of people will combine echinacea and golden seal together. Wow. How do you spell, what is that, golden seal? Golden huh? seal, hydrastis. This is G-O-L-D-E-N-S-E-A-L. -E golden seal. Oh, very cool. And Okay, so you can get most of these things you can get, like right from like Wegmans or Walmart, but you want to be careful, obviously, about like the content and the quality of the vitamins that you get or the supplements that you get, yeah? Correct, so you wanna you wanna know what you're getting, you wanna read the label, and make sure there was, isn't anything added to it you don't need. Yeah. And um, it's good to know, you know, the manufacturer and the, uh, their quality. Yes. And how they're doing, which is hard to figure out, quite a, quite a bit hard to figure out. Yeah, you, I guess the, the good thing is, like if you if you go to like a, a Wegmans per se, they, they try to be very good about um, the products they present, but even better, is to go to your office because you have pure supplements and so there obviously there's no question in what you are able to provide correct so, there's, so we'll take something it, for example it's called EHD it's echinacea hydrastis the berberine alkaloids a little bit of vitamin A to boost your immune system a little bit of vitamin C in it some zinc and, and we take if we feel like we're catching something we take it if we feel uh, if we've been exposed to somebody taking we, we take it if we get something we take it and if we're traveling like plane and so forth we'll right. take it also very cool is so that like a little cocktail no it's a little like capsule. All yeah it's, it's like a little cocktail yeah it's all put together i like it makes it, it like easy it. Yeah, yeah yeah so you don't have to because right now like my vitamin thing is like filled up with like 25 you know i can't even close it because it's got lots of stuff but this is kind of neat it's like all together right i like it very cool so do you have um any last uh bits of wisdom that you want to leave with us thank you so much again for all the wisdom that you shared and um, we're going to give you some information about how you can contact uh, Dr. Les. Um, I, I'm sure you'll want to because 
He's got some great information. So other, uh, this is such a short segment. He can give you so much more information, especially if you visit his office. But what are some things that you can leave with us just to kind of um, reiterate what you said about um, what we can do to boost our immune and not to be afraid of, you know, the viruses that are out there? Right. Well, don't be afraid. You're going to be okay. Uh, you have an immune system. If yeah. you want to strengthen it, yeah. you do that by staying hydrated, making sure you're rest, making sure you get some exercise, eating good food, whole grains, fresh fruits and veggies. If you feel like you want to practice, you want to practice with hygiene also, keep yourself clean. And if you feel like uh, that you're catching something, quite often my patients will take homeopathic aconite, A-C-O-N-I-T-E, mm -hmm. when you get that at Wegmans or something. Okay. At the, at the onset of it, you take it, try to get it in the first few hours, and a lot of people feels that it stops it from coming on. Cool. They'll also use it if they feel like they catch a cold from drafts or have been exposed to the cold. Yeah. So they'll take little free pellets of it, safe, very okay. safe. Um, to build yourself up uh, with your vitamin C, make sure you take that, your zinc, your um, lysine. You can take it in forms that you're comfortable taking in it. You can powder, liquid, however you can get it in. The fun stuff. Or zinc Chewables. lozenges are easy like to do. Yeah. You can take your echinacea, your hydrastis. Um, holy basil is good. It boosts your immune system. Acupuncture. I do acupuncture. Yes. I can boost your white blood cells and your immune function with just one treatment of yeah, that is it's pretty well. I've heard um, a lot of success stories coming out of uh, acupuncture. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing stuff. So there's some of the things you do to uh, keep yourself healthy during the season, and you'll come out on the other side like you've come through all the other yeah. flu. Yeah, amen. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Les. I appreciate it. Now, how can people get in contact with you? And then we can put this uh, information uh, on, our, on our website, too, so you can um, grab that again. But how can they contact you if they're like, man, I, I want to talk to Dr. Les? Well, I have a practice in Bushnell's Bays near mm -hmm. the mall. Um, so I'm up there to get hold of me there at 585. Um, you can find it on the internet. I'll there. find it on the internet. Yeah. I will put it out there. 267 7339. And um, so we're there. If, some, if those of you know that, that, that we also have a free clinic at Wellspring. Oh. We do that when we do the food distribution, which will be not this Tuesday, but the next one after that. And so there are a few people that work that, and we're able to treat people with uh, for colds, flus, boost their immune system, and so forth there, too. Wonderful. That is great. Yeah, we'll get the information on there, too. And that's in Clifton Springs. Yeah, that's in, yeah, right around the corner for me. I don't know why I haven't been there yet. I need to go. Dr. Les, thank you so very much. I, you have definitely helped us because my honey and I, you know, we're watching all of this news, and, and we don't know what's real and what's not. I don't. They don't know what's real and what's not, I think. You're listening to them. They're all arguing, and they're like, are we going to die or are we going to be okay? We're going to be okay. But right. there's some simple steps that we can take. Thank you so much for sharing those with us today. I appreciate it. All right, it. just remember your honey, right? Your honey is Are antiviral, antibacterial. <laughs> so he's and, good for your health, too. Oh, my honey is good for my health. <laughs> honey, you're good for my health. <laughs> and drinking it, too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Too, yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it. We're back in a moment. got Lumineers for you now. Mix that E.5. <laughs> Somebody so many went to a Lumineers concert. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Must that's have been in Rochester or Buffalo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. They're good. I forget about them. Could you hit that hit the um, oh. red guy?